So you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get a lightweight, super reliable headlamp. Hi. I beam on the O light. Rocking the good old BK2. This thing's seen some good old times of work. as we show you the Olight H05. This thing's gonna run between 15 and 20 bucks over on Amazon. We're gonna have links in the description below. That's a great way to help support the channel. Helps me get out here, purchase gear just like this Olight and give you full comprehensive videos. So again, links below, but really super impressed. It had a lot of options that I was looking for that we're gonna discuss with you today. Price point, lightweight, battery power, all those things. And really has been a champ for me for over a year. And it goes in my regular stuffed out survival kits. So we're gonna break this down for you, show you what it has to offer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Olight H05. All right, so here we are back at home uh, after one of our uh, multi-day camping trips that we did at Moab last year. That's where I was shooting the intro to this video. So it's been a long process. So now I've had these for almost two years. Uh, and you could saw that I was wearing the green one. I have an orange, a blue. I think my wife has a purple one. So we have at least four in the family. And just to show you how much I value these, purchased all four of them on my own. So um, what you're getting here, and we're just going to kind of jump right into it, give you all the aspects and why this stands out to me again for that insane price point of between $15 and $20. So you're getting the different color combinations. They have like four different ones, really good elastic band that's really adjustable. There is no rubberized pieces, you know, so this is a pretty basic light, but that's what I like it is. It's so basic. It's so small and compact. So it fits in bug out bag kits and go bags and survival kits. It's not this big cumbersome clunk headlamp that takes up a ton of space in your gear, which is a big major plus. It would have been nice to have a little bit of maybe rubberized texture here for like helmets and that type of thing. This wouldn't be great for like work helmets, hard hats. Uh, I'm thinking when I was an um, electrician, there would be probably better t ones out there for that. But not only for your you know daily outdoor adventures, but also just for around the home or you're a handyman. I have my buddy Mike, great guy, uh, and I suggested this to him. He loves it. He uses this all the time. He runs a handyman business by himself, and he was like, "Dude, that was like some of the best money I ever spent." Uh, I had another buddy. You know, he he's not really into a ton of outdoor stuff. Um, but he does um, overnight running. You know, he'll do like 12 hours, 14 hour, you know, runs and, uh, you know, competing and that type of thing. And he totally loves this thing and uh, used it and, and totally dug it. So uh, there's lots of capabilities here, folks, for what we're getting. Now, one of the aspects as well that you were getting here is the centerized um, main lens. And then you do have two secondary red lenses as well that will either, you know, just give you a, a very low light, you know, red to save your uh, night vision for whatever the case may be, if you're doing an evasion, uh, evasion type of situation, or, you know, you're, it's just at night and you don't want to, you know, destroy your um, night vision. It will also, if you do a secondary click, run and blink. So if you need a, a detection, that's a great way to use this as well as through detection. So I really like that really nice um, actuating button here for what you need. And if you put it on the red setting, it will stay on the red setting. And to remove it and get it back to the normal setting, uh, you basically double click it. And you double click it to get back to the red. So it's pretty easy to do without ruining your night vision. I would just say if it was on the original main power, just keep your eyes closed, double click it, and you should have um, main power without you know ruining your um, uh, night vision. So really easy to actuate in that way. Really good secure snap there. Uh, that's going to have you're going to rotate through the three different settings that we have and that they offer on this headlamp. That's the other thing, too, is that battery life based off of two AAA powered batteries. Most headlamps, if they're AAA powered, require three batteries. So it means more batteries you got to tote around. The item is usually larger and heavier. So this is lighter weight and you're still getting great power and great um, longevity of lumens and of light in this really compact package. I mean, this thing only weighs an ounce and a half without the batteries. And you're looking at probably about three ounces to four, the three and a half, you know, right around there with the actual batteries. So um, I'm gonna annotate this in right now off of the Olight website. 
uh, so we can kind of see what we're talking about. And then I'll run in some, just some footage as we're talking as well of this being used. And so you can see kind of what the um, lumens can produce. But I really like the focus point. The focus point is really good on the main beam, especially. But uh, depending on the type of battery you're using, either lithium or alkaline, obviously lithium uh, will give you a little bit better um, battery life and power you know source but you're gonna get 150 lumens on the maximum mode and uh, it will gradually die down to 90 uh, as the battery you know life is is sucked up um, and uh, that will then go down to about 180 to um, 200 lumens again or sorry 200 minutes so you're getting several hours you know of that maximum 150 lumens if you need that power and that distance at 55 meters so that's really good um it, it really works well again for the outdoors for around the home if you're fixing something you know you're working on the car uh you know whatever wherever it, it really is that really good punch good throw not being again overkill i mean you can get a thousand lumen you know headlamp if you want uh, but it's going to cost you and it's going to probably weigh more and it's going to take either a specialty type of battery or usb recharge and there's just a lot that goes into that for the price to of to performance um, and size and weight it's awesome then we're going to have a secondary mode and that secondary mode is going to be 30 lumens and that's going to go between 10 and 7 hours depending on the battery life that you do this is usually the lumens that i use i mean this i put it there uh, I mean, it did a whole camp trip without me having to swap out the batteries at all, which is a major plus. You know, that was like three or four days in Moab that we used this, and I was using one hand lamp for the entire trip, never had to swap out batteries. So that's a big plus uh, when you're using about that 30 lumens. And then, you know, if you're not really worried about it or you have a long distance to go, maybe you are you got lost and you got to hike it out and you know you're going to be on the trail for another, you know, five to 10 to 15 hours and you don't know when you're ever going to get out of there it does have that third low setting which is still enough to kind of see where you're going you won't see far distances but you can see stuff in your hands you could read a book around a campsite or out in a hammock i do that sometimes you know i'll hang out in that backyard and i don't have light proper light for that um it's a great you know setting for that as well as being able to see probably about 10 feet in front of you realistically uh, but that's going to go 10 lumens for 27 to 22 hours so finally the head is adjustable multi uh, adjustable in different ways uh, i believe there's several different angles that it'll do perfect you can obviously uh, remove the band as well here so thank you guys again for checking out this particular video i hope it has helped you out showing you what these two little headlamps can do and what the h05 can do for you and whether or not it's going to be the right budget friendly but very effective uh, headlamp for you again links below over to amazon blade hq as well sells a lot of olight stuff uh, when you guys use those it really helps us out continue to do what we do buy gear like this give you feedback over the course of two years on these lights so you can make a wise purchasing decision thank you guys for supporting us in that way check us out on all the relevant social media as well um boom uh, Facebook, Instagram, lots of other places that we're throwing up stuff. And uh, every single week, you can find out gear items that we're testing out that you know aren't uh, up for YouTube yet. Uh, it's another way to just connect with me if you have questions, comments, whatever. However, sometimes uh, we sell old gear there. I mean, just all kinds of stuff going on on the Instagram and Facebook pages. And finally, guys, always remember: stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.